Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Welcome to another episode How to create Gradle multi project for Java, Groovy and Android Okay In our previous tutorial we saw that how to create a Gradle project for Java program Okay In this section we are going to create this uh, multi project What is multi project actually uh, If I uh, show you this directory structure that means if our project team is Gradle multi project and it could be uh, contain a lot of project that means uh, there could be a main project main application main application could be a multiple modules that means product module uh, order module and customer module and uh, some of other module by or a, a external module we can add here uh, if we need this type of structure then it's a uh, difficult to uh, manage uh, individually uh, it's a uh, very easy way to manage in a same project with uh, separate modules okay let's uh, let's begin how we will uh, accomplish this task by gradle multi project uh, if you interested to learn more about this then you can visit this url uh, that means smtmcsc.com dev hyphen bismillah slash gradle slash gradle hyphen multi hyphen project okay for start this project we need some prerequisite uh, the first thing is this gradle environment preparation if you're not uh, prepared for this then you can follow that link and uh, this one uh, and uh, if you uh, not install gradle yet then you can follow this uh, install gradle link and other one is create gradle project uh, this is uh, also optional if you not familiar with how to create a gradle project then you can follow that link okay let's begin in our previous tutorial we created a uh, project that call uh, tutorial uh, tutorial uh, gradle here uh, we 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 just uh, migrate this project into uh, multi project let's uh, begin for that first option is that we have to create a gradle dot properties and the gradle dot properties variable contain main project and application modules and other modules okay for main project uh, will be the main project and application module will contain uh, lots of other module and other other modules will contain some of module that means here we uh, uh, we will add uh, one of external module let's begin for that i'm copying this gradle dot properties from here to our project root okay gradle dot pro properties then here nothing copying this location variables and going to paste it in this section that's all okay now we have to adjust our build.gradle here i added the codes for build.gradle let's see what the code available in our project here we are seeing that very basic configuration for gradle so that's why i'm replacing that uh, gradle from here okay just going to select that full section copy okay let me select all control v okay here you are seeing that uh, the first block is that build script this is uh, this is basically used for building something that means uh, if you want to compile java or uh, uh, making some word then uh, you will uh, uh, system will use this uh, portion for repository repository basically uh, mentioned that uh, where the artifact is that means uh, if you add any dependency then uh, the system will download from where this is the location the available system that means maven local maven central j center and others this way you can add lot of repository url okay this section is for group id and uh, version this is the all projects block this section is saying that for your all projects some of common dependencies some of common configuration will be uh, added that means all project will belongs to these repositories and will apply the plugin java id and goofy compatibility will be java agar will fan okay then an another thing is then dependency if we need any dependency for all project we we can easily add here we will see later and if we uh, want to do some operation for uh, for sub project then you can uh, you can specify here i will see a example a project uh, for your clarification here uh, this is the actually basically a 
map where I uh, list of map that means this is list from here to here and sum of map here that means the name uh, which uh, which we want to clone from external library and the destination where to store and the dependency dependency list uh, if you see this block then I, we are saying that other module that means those module comes from external library that means uh, this is uh, this is from uh, github one project we want to add this project as a other modules okay and this section uh, this section i added a plugin for clone git repository from uh, remote url so that our uh, life will easy easier we uh, we don't want to clone that project every time because project configuration is very difficult uh, so uh, what uh, what the other modules and the application actually those are the variable uh, collecting value from gradle dot properties from uh, application and other module location here you are seeing there is a no directory called other module okay just remember it the last thing is that uh, settings dot gradle here we we want to add the settings dot gradle let's edit this thing and here we are not replacing this uh, project name just we added the rest of thing included main project that means we haven't any main application let's create a directory for main application for sake of simplicity create this we will add code here for a main application here you are see, uh, seeing that it's saying that application modules will be include automatically using loop this way you can uh, automate your gradle system so that project configuration could be easier and there is no need to worry about and other other modules will be included from this origin okay let's begin to create a main application okay for that i'm just synchronizing these uh, changes okay you can synchronize this by click on here gradle this refresh button it will also synchronize them okay let me create a see the empty directory is uh, saying it's a module right so we are going to add a directory called src slash main slash java okay this is the directory structure like below here let's create a uh, package name com dot hmtm csc dot main app okay added a class called main application okay now let's add a method called public static void main okay system dot system dot sorry not error out dot print line main application a double p l i c a t i n application let's run that project what will happen let's see yes it successfully run the main application okay uh, automatically app add main application is ran from here so now we are going to add some of dependencies okay for here I'm going to click on uh, this resolve dependency task it will automatically clone this java util pro project and create a directory here called other project okay i'm clicking on here it's going to clone from grid repository see you are saying that clone okay now here you are seeing after main application you will get that uh, other module and java tm util okay let's uh, uh, let's synchronize this application for that clicking on gradle synchronize see it's synchronized okay the another thing is that now we are we want to add that tom tom method tom tom random method to our main application how we will you use that okay let's see what happen will happen let me duplicate this line then try to write tom 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 dot what was the method name random integer okay 
let's see it's not able to resolve this it it's saying that add dependency add dependency the intel is a feature so it not get it so how we will manage it for for this we are going to add dependency okay uh, let's see that uh, that java tm util will use for all project for that we have to edit this include code this is source code that's why we have to add that project keyword okay let's copy this one and go to here uh, if you if you want this uh, this dependency only for this main project then you can uh, create a gradle file build.gradle gradle okay let's add the dependencies block and you can also add this way okay let's see what happen okay here now you are seeing that uh, it's uh, if I uh, control and sorry alter and enter then it asking me import okay you can easily import this project from uh, another module you easily added in your project let's run that project what will happen see it's showing a random number okay that there, there is another way that if, if 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 you don't want to add in individual project then you can copy that things to our main .gradle. okay from here we want to add the dependency for all projects so that we can add here okay and just going to uh, change again back to here S uh, yeah that means the main project main see it's also getting this uh, dependency because it's applying for all project okay this way you can easily add multiple project in your project okay I'm uh, showing you an example of big multiple project that is stored in our uh, my uh, my github okay let me show you that project it's here uh, this is my project so let's begin mm, Grail engine this is the grain engine project so this is one of big project okay I'm going to click on this builder cradle see here lots of configuration we uh, did in sub project see if it's a gradle project you are seeing now if it's gather project we, we apply some of plugins uh, grills project and uh, there is a repertories there there is a configuration different type of compression there's a different type of dependencies okay uh, for multi project it's very very important for big project this way you can easily create a like gradle multi project for your big application or microservice application or multi module application Thank you guys thanks for stay with me and uh, see for uh, see this video thank you again and please don't forget to subscribe my channel for future videos